Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, I'm Caitlin. I thought I would start a week in my life. It's Tuesday right now, but it's pretty much a Monday for me because we got back in town last night from our Easter trip, which was the best trip. Like, I had so much fun. I edited that vlog in the car, so that's already up if you guys want to go watch that. But yeah, we're just getting back into routine this week. I honestly am probably going to take a rest day today just because my voice is finally coming back and I don't want to push it too much. Like, I feel like if I went to spin, it would just be like a lot of heavy breathing and it wouldn't be the best. And yeah, whenever like something feels off, like if it's my throat or whatever, I feel like I just can't work out because my mind just isn't really in it. And I just want to like listen to my body. So I'll probably go on a little walk. Put on this workout outfit. I'm actually meeting my friend Delaney for coffee first. And we're gonna go to Kit Coffee. But I'm wearing these leggings from Lululemon. Nothing surprising here. My Lululemon aligns. And then this is from Aritzia. This is just their mini bra. It's really, really cute. I like the back because it's just like tiny and short and I think it's cute. Then I just have on my hat from Adenola and then all my everyday jewelry is just on. And then I'll probably grab this white jacket and we will get started with our day. But I just want to turn the camera on and yeah, bring you guys with me for a typical week of like getting back into routine. I'll bring you for my workouts, if we hang out with friends. I don't know, the weeks are always different. I feel like when we're in California, so. <laughs> Just made my breakfast. I want to show you guys these because I love running to these if I don't have time to like cook something or if I didn't prep something. And I just really like them. They're the frittata bites from Applegate and they honestly remind me of the Starbucks egg bites. But I actually like them more because I really like chicken sausage and bless you cocoa. And yeah, they just have some protein in them. They're dairy free, gluten free. And then I also just have a coffee because I prefer to get tea at the coffee shop we're going to. Back home for a quick second, I just changed, took a shower, washed my hair just because I was feeling kind of gross, but we'll chat in the car. I'm going to go do some errands today and we have a lot of them, so I need to get going, but just want to say that. Had a great morning. Where's my little tea? I got a tea because I don't want to have too much caffeine today, so just got a peppermint herbal tea and it's delicious, so if you're ever near Kit Coffee, definitely try it. I love it. And it was so fun to see Delaney. Okay, just got done at the nail salon. And then I also went over to Sephora. I got this color. It was called My Vampire's Buff. Which doesn't really make sense to the color to me. But they're really, really cute. They're just like a white pink. It's almost a mix between the Funny Bunny OPI and the Bubble Bath. But, like, even cuter. Like, I like what it looks like. And also, it's only two coats. In case you guys want to get that. And the color was OPI's color. Then at Sephora, I only got three things, but I feel like that's a lot from Sephora. I got a restock of my Dr. Dennis Gross Peel Pads. It's actually been a while since I've had these, and I really like them. They really just like exploit your face really well. I was using the Shawnee Darden Exploiter, but I just really like the pads, and I'll just do like one every other night. They last me forever. And then I saw my friend Rachel. She got this. I actually want to put this on my face and try it out right now, because it says that it can be done during the daytime, and it's just like part of your skincare routine. So let's see. It's the Glow Recipe like dewy brightening day drops. Whoa. That's definitely going to be too much. Let's see. I thought I would just test it out. I feel like I'm going to have to return this. I'm usually weird about like face tanning drops because I really don't like it if they make it look like I have like a red face because I feel like my face is pretty naturally red without makeup on so anything that makes it kind of look more red I just don't like. I don't, it smells really good. I can't tell. I feel like it looks darker on the spots I have hair on my face. Maybe I need to like dry my plane first. What do we think? Do we think they look good? I usually use my um, glow screen to make my face look a little bit more even and tan. And this obviously is SPF, so I'll definitely be using this every day. But I wonder if this also just makes my face look like a little bit more brighter and even. It's like a tinted serum, I guess. Never had one of those before, but that's everything I got, and I will look at this a little bit better like when I get to the house and let you guys know if I like it. But Okay, I'm getting gas right now, and I feel like you can see the drops a little bit better now that we're outside. And I actually like them. I feel like they blended really, really well. You can't like see a line on my neck, so I thought I would do an update in the sun. But I'm going to go home right now to get some gas, and then I'm going to go to the grocery store finally. 
just went to the grocery store, kind of sectioned off how I'm going to eat all the groceries to run through them really quickly. But I got a bunch of fruits and vegetables, some avocado, a heirloom tomato, limes, lemons, bananas. I got this lemon juice too, just to add into hot water in the mornings, especially for my throat. And then I want to do my salmon toast this week. So I already have some sourdough in the freezer. I'm just going to use avocado, smoked salmon, and then this broccoli microgreens for the top. And then I also want to try toast with cottage cheese and then fruit jam on top. I thought that would be really good. I saw this girl that I follow, Glow with Ella. She made that. Sound really good. For dinner one night this week, I got 100% grass-fed Angus beef, and I thought it'd be really good with this vegan mac and cheese. I like this Goodles brand. They use, like, vegetables in their noodles. I don't know. Tastes really good, and I really like doing, like, steak and mac and cheese, and then we'll probably just throw on, like, broccoli or something. And then I also want to make a tuna salad this week, so I got some fresh dill, which is mandatory for tuna salad. Needed some black pepper. I like to do apple on my tuna salad, red crushed pepper, and then I also got a new mayo. This is my favorite mayo. It just has some avocado oil, vinegar, eggs, and pretty much some spices. And then this is my favorite tuna to get, the Wild Planet tuna. And then I also got stuff to make chicken nuggets, and then I'm going to do buffalo cauliflower with it and some potato fries. And then this is just some random things I got. I got some chocolate chips for when we make pancakes, some Olipop, and then I wanted to try these ice cream sandwiches that I saw, mint ones, vanilla, and then we needed some more maple syrup for our lattes. So I put everything away and then I have some work to do on my laptop for a little bit. Okay guys, it's a little bit later. I was sitting on the couch because I feel so exhausted today. I know that it's just because my body is just like honestly starting to try and feel better because like my throat and whatever but i just sat on the couch for way too long i think i fell asleep at one point honestly but i was also just watching some youtube and then i was also shopping a little bit for furniture which is like my two favorite things to do but hunter's actually heating up some leftover pasta for me we cooked this last night when we got home from our trip and it's actually the recipe that i made in our meal prep video I froze the bolognese, made it last night, it was really easy. I just microwaved it to get it to thaw. Then I added it to a saucepan and then I added noodles and it was super, super easy. So we're gonna have that tonight. It's about to be sunset, we're gonna take Coco on a walk and then we're also gonna go get ice cream tonight because I tried the new pressed sweet cream flavor and I'm addicted to it. It is literally the best thing that I've ever had for dessert and I'm craving it. I was craving it the whole time we were in Arizona but they don't really have a lot of pressed the juice place in Arizona, but it has like ice cream. It's not like a juice that I'm getting. It's their freeze and it's so good. If you have one near you, you have to try their new flavor. I'm addicted. So we're gonna have that tonight and watch a movie or like a new show or something together. Also, I know I showed you guys what I got from Sephora today, but I came home and I actually had a package from Say Beauty. So thank you, Say Beauty. I've never really tried any of their makeup, I don't think. So I'm really excited, but I do know it's really good because I've heard some reviews on TikTok, but I will try these out later this week. Ah, I'll try these out later this week and let you know how I like them, but I'm really excited. They have the most beautiful packaging and they sent over their foundation, some lipsticks, really pretty shade of lipstick and their makeup bag, which is so pretty. I love this color purple and then fluffy brows. That sounds good. Babe, should I use the fluffy brow pen on you? They make your, yeah, it'll make your brows stick up. <laughs> Sunset walk slash ice cream outfit. I have on my Skims PJs that I put on after I went to the grocery store. And then I have on just this Aritzia top that I was wearing earlier. And then this is actually a Prince and Polly jacket, but it's super, super comfy. And I love it. What are you wearing, Coco? Let's show them your new leash. Where is your leash? Coco has a new red leash. We got this at just like the regular pet store. I can link this down below. And then we also got her matching strawberries for the spring and summer. And you've been matching mom a lot. Cause I always wear red. Come on up. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi. I was just realizing too, I don't think I've actually showed you guys what I put in this cabinet. And I actually really like it. We just have some books in there. I have this little pot that I got from Found. And then this is from Amber Interiors. I think it's cute. And then we put all of our sheets and guest stuff in here. Love this little thing. It's from Living Spaces, actually. So I can try and find it and link it, but I know it was out of stock for a little bit. Good morning, you guys. 
I'm actually pulling into the Starbucks right now, which is so funny because in my last video I was like, we never get Starbucks anymore. But for some reason our ice machine didn't make ice. Last night, you guys know we have the Nugget ice machine and it wasn't plugged in. So I could have had a hot coffee and it probably would have felt good, but I was just craving a latte this morning. So I'm actually gonna get two double shot espressos over ice and then go home and make our lattes with the ice and the espresso. So technically, I'm still being truthful that we don't love Starbucks. Like we genuinely want our at-home lattes more where we do maple syrup, half oat milk, half almond milk. I just don't like the options at Starbucks. Like I don't really like the milks that they have. Usually I'll just get whole milk, but I'm actually trying to not have dairy for a little bit just to see if that has been upsetting my stomach even though I definitely had a lot of dairy over Easter so I'm not really going good with that. But yeah. Hi, could I do two grande double shot espressos over ice? No, first. And you go for speedo with that one? No, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just made some breakfast. I filmed it for TikTok because I'm going to do a TikTok what I ate in a day. So I didn't show the recipe, but I just have a sweet and savory toast. This one is cottage cheese with jam. Even though cottage cheese does have dairy. I realized that after I started eating it. And then this one is just avocado with some salmon on top, some heirloom tomatoes, and also some capers and dill. So, so yummy. I'm honestly embarrassed I'm still on the same top as yesterday, but I just like haven't really sweat, so I haven't taken it off. And I'm just gonna take cocoa on a quick walk, and then I'm gonna change when I get back. But you guys have to try this breakfast. I feel like I'm such a sweet and savory person at the same time. And then I also made my coffee, which is so good today. I'm gonna only do my walk today as my movement for the day. I'm gonna let my body rest a little bit more. It just doesn't feel 100%. And it does kind of suck just because whenever I go on a trip, I'm always super, super excited to get back and like get to the gym because as you guys know, I love going to the gym. I talk about it in like every video, but truly fitness is just something that I genuinely love. It's a passion of mine. So I always am so excited to get back to my spin, to lifting, and it does suck coming home and like not being able to do that. So it's just like that much harder to listen to my body and actually be like, no, you're not gonna work out today. You're not gonna overdo it. When my mind is like, oh my gosh, it sounds so fun. Like that's all I wanna do right now. But I'm just trying to be good, trying to listen to my body and honestly just take the rest because there's nothing worse for your body than pushing it past what it wants to do. So yeah, that's definitely something I've learned and I'm proud of myself for being like, no, I'm just gonna have a rest day and it'll be nice to get outside because it's such a sunny day so I'm gonna eat and then we'll go on a little walk okay it's a little bit later I ended up getting ready for the day we're gonna go have a beach date night it's actually our last night together before Hunter's family comes in town for the next couple of days so I actually thought that I would wear this cowgirl hat because it's super sunny out right now it's usually freezing at the beach so I'm also bringing this jacket but the chances of it actually being pretty hot is pretty high because it's been hot the past couple of days so I'm gonna bring this just to cover my face even though I have my SPF on but we're probably gonna bring cocoa and just have a little date night tonight also I don't know if you can see all of our cushions on the back of our couch we also had a day of cleaning the house just because we obviously want it to be nice for Hunter's family and tomorrow I'll probably go get some flowers to stock up the house just to make it nice do a little bit deeper of a clean like actually do the floors and stuff like that make the beds but for now, we just wanted to get the dishes done, wash the sheets, wash the couch, and I'm feeling very good. Also, I cannot take myself seriously with this. I did really quickly want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. And if you guys haven't heard me talk about Squarespace before, it's an online website that I personally use for my website. And it's a really, really great starting point if you're somebody with a business, if you're coming out with a product, if you're an influencer and you just want a presence online with your branding, possibly do merch one day, maybe set up a newsletter. And like I said, this is where I created my personal website. So I will put on the screen what that looks like. I chose everything. I chose the colorways, the theme, what I wanted on the landing page. Page, all of that and as you guys know I also came out with my four-week gym guide on Squarespace so it's a downloadable PDF so once you purchase the guide it's immediately sent into your email that you put in and I didn't have any issues with our launch or any of the customers so if you guys are interested you guys can check out Squarespace you'll actually get a 30-day free trial and then you'll also get 10% off when you are ready to purchase a domain or website all you have to do is click the link in the description box and use my code again thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and I will see you guys when we go to the beach we're back from 
the beach. I just made some teriyaki bowls and they look so, so good. <laughs> Very good. You didn't wait for the vlog taste test? Mm -mm. Good morning. It's a few days later actually. I didn't really vlog much this past weekend just because Hunter's family was in town and it was his little sister's birthday. So we just did like so many different things. Whenever we have visitors, I feel like we honestly just don't really go on our phones at all or like focus on work and stuff. So I don't know, I just don't want to like throw the camera in all of their faces. It's obviously my choice to like vlog and put my life online, but I don't want to like just throw the vlog in other people's faces. That's why I usually don't film with my family. I thought I would still continue the vlog today. It's actually Monday, which I am going to try and get this video up later tonight, hopefully. So maybe by the time you're watching this right now, it's still Monday, hopefully. But yeah, the weekend was so much fun. We got a Duffy boat. We went to a few of our favorite restaurants. We couldn't go to the beach just because it's been like super windy and cold. So we didn't have any beach days, but we took them to some of our favorite coffee shops. We shopped a little bit. I got this really cute matching set from Aritzia. It's like a jean tuxedo. What's it called? A Canadian tuxedo where it's jean on top and jean on the bottom. I've never worn that before. So I really wanted to get that jean jacket. I've been looking at it for a while from Aritzia. It definitely is a little bit more expensive, but really, really high quality. I went to the store with Josie and me like tried on a bunch of stuff and I love the way that it fits. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. I took a photo on the Duffy with Hunter. So yeah, it was just a really, really fun weekend. I definitely feel a little like all over the place now. It's Monday right now and obviously didn't have like a Sunday reset. They just left yesterday. And then honestly, we were just recovering or laughing because we we're like, wow, we fully ran our social battery to the ground. And I feel like all weekend, it just was one of those weekends where we were like belly laughing a lot. And sometimes my personality when I'm with a bunch of people, like I feel like I kind of like over entertained and I'm like always trying to be the one that's funny always like trying to keep the conversation going and stuff so I like genuinely felt dead yesterday and then we went and got in and out last night just had a really chill night didn't clean or anything so I'm kind of picking the pieces back up today and then at the same time it's the start of the work week so I'm not gonna lie I definitely have a little bit of like Sunday scaries but on Monday I haven't made my breakfast yet today I just actually went to spin this morning I haven't been to spin in a while like i didn't work out at all this past weekend and then last week i was recovering from being sick so i just didn't really get to my normal workout routine as you guys know from watching the video and i was just so excited to go to spin and just be around some of my friends at spin and stuff so i went to spin that was at 7 a.m and then i always go to bar at 8 30 on mondays with my friend delaney so i didn't want to skip out on bar either so i actually tried going to both i've never really done that ever so it was interesting. I don't know if I would do that every week. Like I definitely felt a little bit fatigued more at bar and bar for me is like a lower intensity workout, which I like adding low intensity into my routine and just having a little bit slower pace, nothing too crazy type of days. So adding spin on top of that kind of defeated the purpose of that. But oh, Josie's flowers are in the back with her little happy birthday. Um, it's not our birthday anymore. Anyway, so that was my morning and now I'm about to make some breakfast. I'm filming a TikTok. I've liked doing TikTok like what I eat in a days again. I used to always film them and I feel like I used to post like legit three recipes a day on TikTok. I remember I would film my breakfast, I would film my lunch or like a snack and then I'd also film dinner. That was back when we lived in our Arizona apartment when I was kind of first getting into filming recipes. And I don't know, I just have been loving watching other recipes on TikTok and I'm just in like my cooking era for sure and like my feel good era. I also have, a lot is going on right now, but I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a couple days, but I also put this on the stove this week. This lasts for an entire week. I started it on Friday. It's literally just water, maple syrup, cinnamon, and a lemon, and it makes the whole house smell so good. Oh, wrong burner. Hunter was like, did you make cinnamon rolls? I was like, no, sorry makes the whole house smell so good so anyway i'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and make some pancakes this morning that's what i'm craving i'll do little blueberry pancakes and i'm probably just going to 
use a recipe that I've already made before, nothing crazy, like probably like a protein pancake. I'll probably do the same recipe that I do for the waffles and just make them into pancakes. It's really easy and then we have this burner on our stove that's like long in the middle, so it's really easy to make pancakes, so let's go do that. Okay, this is what we have going on for the pancakes. I think I'm gonna try to do a lemon blueberry one. I'm gonna use rose blueberries to kind of make a topping. So we have lemon, banana. I always do banana to sweeten the pancakes. And then egg in there for some protein and also for texture. Maple syrup, baking soda, some protein. I've showed this a bunch. I get this off of Amazon or Whole Foods has it. And then for the base, I like to do almond flour and oat flour. And then also just add some chia seeds and fiber. I could also do just like a regular pancake mix, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna make it from scratch and then I'll just do it right here with some butter. Okay, I just finished making the batter. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells like cake batter. And I did the lemon, I did lemon zest in it and I'm gonna add blueberries on top. It smells, it smells so good. I use this vanilla protein that I showed you guys that I get off of Amazon or they have it at Whole Foods or they have it at my local grocery store. Any protein I've ever seen, this is definitely the most minimal protein I've ever found ingredient wise. There's nothing like weird in it. And it's so thick that sometimes I don't even love it as a protein shake like by itself because it's like drinking cake batter. Like it's so good for baking because it's such a good, thick, perfect consistency. It literally makes it like cake batter. So if you've been looking for something to make like protein waffles, protein pancakes, then I highly recommend because it literally smells so good. So we have my camera set up. I'm gonna film making the pancakes and then I'll be back to show you guys what they look like. Okay, I had to try them before I recommended the recipe, but these are the best breakfast I've ever made. It was so easy, this probably took me like 10 minutes. And adding the lemon and the blueberry literally feels like I'm eating at a restaurant. I highly recommend, I will link this recipe I just filmed for TikTok down below. Okay, I just got ready for my day. I'm actually gonna go head to the mall because there's a few things that I wanna try on like different activewear, I wanna to go to Lululemon, and I think I am gonna end the video off here just because it's been kind of just like a random vlog. This is a couple days later after the last clip. I was watching it back and I feel like I've just been really prioritizing self-care and honestly just being calm and chill. I remember that Michaela, I keep referring to this podcast episode because it was just such a good episode, I'll link it down below, but my friend Michaela, I had her on my podcast and she pretty much was saying that she sets a specific amount of time for her work every single day and then the rest of the day is just kind of spent on herself and doing things that she actually likes to do, like recharging, watching TV on the couch, laying in bed. And I feel like I've always been really hard on myself to like work as hard as I possibly can and I feel like I'm just in this season of life right now where I'm kind of waiting for our next chapter. I feel like we are moving out of this house. I don't know, I just feel like even with like the podcast, I've taken a little pause on that. And I feel like even just being a little bit less active on YouTube and stuff, I'm just kind of taking like an off season because I know the rest of the year is gonna be crazy. I know I'm gonna film a lot. I've been also filming a lot on Instagram and TikTok because that's what I've just been like super passionate about. And I feel like when I feel super passionate about something, I'd rather lean into that than like try and juggle that while spreading myself thin on every other platform. And I don't know, I just think I'm trying to learn a balance and I really do like juggle a lot for my work and I feel like I'm always constantly trying to stay on the schedule and also be disciplined with work and my fitness journey and like just have a self-efficient routine because that's what does make me feel really good but at the same time I've definitely burned myself out in the past and I've learned from those mistakes so yeah anyway I just want to end off the video I didn't want to just like stop but I hope you enjoyed this random week in my life and we'll be back to vlogging more and actually being like a little bit more consistent on YouTube in the future so thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video bye